All right, this is day 11, and we are going to do a review on kanji, as well as a couple of other things. We're going to introduce one of our favorite grammar tools that we used while we were in language school. So I guess we can actually do that first, just to get it out of the way. But this practice session is going to be a little bit shorter than usual, just because we have some things going on today. But we just want to still get some practice in as much as possible. So why don't we start off with introducing the tool first, which is Boon Pro, I believe. Let's find out. We'll know once we see it. It looks like it. it is correct. Let's just try logging in. All right, we are logged in. And as you can see, we have JLPT progress right here for grammar. It says N5 is 49 out of 126. What is this? Uh, it has a vocab as well. I never really used this for vocab, so. But I think it stopped tracking my progress after I stopped the free trial. So I might be past this point. But either way, let's try to get back to where we were. Here's the progress right there. I'm trying to remember exactly where we, it was learn maybe. Okay, learn doesn't work. Apparently you need a subscription for that. So I never used the, or maybe I have used it, but I, there it is, grammar list. So what I did on my phone, and I pretty much just learned through my phone, is I just went over the N5 stuff right here. And I'm guessing it's not going to save anymore because I don't have the subscription. But, you know, I can take a glance at everything and, and know like, okay, yeah, you know, clearly I know a lot of these already and I just keep going until I find like sort of a area where I need to review or learn something new. I have a bookmark on this one, so I'll check out what that means. Also, sorry, let me just show that side because I was blocking it. Here's Kekko and Takusan. Maya ni kurai sugiru ni suru ni naru dare ka mashou ta hou ga ii nakute wa naranai. That's one thing I didn't really learn. Okay. Yeah, things like like lists and stuff. Anyways, as you can see, there are a lot, a lot of grammar points here. It's all listed out and listed out in, I guess, an order of however they organized it. Grammar, you know, there's it's kind of subjective. You can learn whatever you need first. Um, but everything here is ordered in a pretty good way, I think. And I pretty much know all of the N5 ones looking at it now. But I do like the the way they explain things. So let's go ahead and go here. So this is not prohibitive. I hate that they have this here, but it's just how it is when you don't have the subscription. Let me just extend this so that it's a little less obtrusive, I guess. And maybe, yeah, that's annoying. Oh, well. Okay. Na is classified as a sentence ending particle in Japanese. When attached to the base dictionary form of a verb, it has the nuance of strongly demanding that someone not do something. So we can see right here that it says, Kiken, sawaru na, sawaru na, so don't touch. Ie no naka de hashiru na to okasan ga yutta. And I like that you can also like change certain ones if you click it, you can show that or remove the furigana. So if you know the kanji, then you can basically just read it instead of without the furigana, which is very useful. Let's say, let's see what else they say about it. So it's similar to Naida and they have examples right here. And it's cool because they actually, you know, have voices and stuff. So you can hear how it sounds naturally. But you get more example sentence with the subscription and stuff. It's actually not too, like, expensive. I think it's like $5 a month. So it could be worth it if, like, you're very serious about learning Japanese. And I mean, they have a 30-day uh, free trial. So technically, if you're very serious, you can, like, do as much as you can in 30 days. <laughs> Okay, self-study sentences. But yeah, that's this one's kind of a, a little bit sparse. I, I think most of the time they have more stuff. Let's do another example, docket. Yeah, it's just like this. They have a lot of structures, details, 
they give examples sometimes they they say they give like counter examples or like how not to do it and stuff like that caution right here should not be confused with dochi doko which is also sometimes related to as where dochi focuses more on the direction that one is going nochi migi hidari these ones that we know yeah very very useful tool that i used while i was in japanese language school i found it very helpful i thought that i learned it uh, i found out this tool or someone introduced it to me um because they were in japanese language school themselves in a different language school but we were in the same share house and they told me that they found it very useful so i checked it out and also thought it was very useful and part of me feels like you can basically learn all your grammar points using this right here this site just because it's so well organized and everything's explained well they even have again the audio so that you can hear how it's said with different intonations and stuff like get the proper hatsuon but yeah that's boon pro boonpro.jp not sponsored at all or anything like that just tool that i thought was very very useful oh nakya nakcha i say nakya but not really nakcha never haven't heard of nakcha yeah so i do know this i'm not sure yeah it's too bad that the non-subscribe version doesn't save your progress a part of me feels like yeah that's just a bummer part of me feels like i i would wouldn't mind just trying the subscription at some point but it's also really easy to just go through them like this and keep track of it on your own so yeah yeah, sometimes you just don't need to buy something, even if it seems like that shiny object syndrome type of thing where you just want to buy something because it's nice to buy something. Um, but yeah, everything is here. Just got to go through it. We will go to where we think we... There's like a lot of different versions of the same thing. Like sometimes Te'imas, for instance, has like a lot of lessons because there's so many different meanings for it, depending on the context. So I have to be careful not to like look at this and just assume that I know it already. Yasuo and Nikoi are actually more recent things I've been learning. Like wakari Nikoi means like don't really fully understand it or it's difficult to understand. So wakari Yasui is like easy to understand. So these things I sort of learned recently. But I, I think I'll just start off with N4 and just make my way downwards. But we'll be using this from here on for grammar just because it's just so well organized it's like it's like why would i not use it it just seems kind of foolish not to use what i used before and found very very helpful but i'll find some way to integrate chat into the routine as well my goodness how do i get rid of this i just have to zoom in or i guess i can zoom out and it looks better that way oh so this is the the demo got it so this one we pretty much already know, but we can just go through it a little bit. Uh, demo is one of the many adverbial particles in Japanese. These are particles that behave like regular joshi in that they appear after the words that are referencing, that they are referencing, but their role is a little bit more specific. Demo itself has several uses. And the use that we will examine in this grammar point is called Reiji. Basically, this means presenting examples. In English, this results in a translation similar to even or or something. To use this structure, simply attach demo to any noun or pronoun. Okay. Ocha demo nomimashou ka? Shall we drink some tea or something? Ocha demo nomimashou ka? We know daijoubu. Daijoubu da yo. Omae demo dekiru yo. It's okay, even someone like you. Can do it. Naijobu da yo. Omae demo dakiru yo. Seems like a very strange exa example sentence. Other choices, however, the noun, like dare, doko, nani, itsu. The translation becomes much closer to anyone, anywhere, anything. Okay, got it. Kono kantan na kanji. Kanji. Kono kantan na kanji wa edamo wakaru yo. Should know those kanji. Or at least I, don't, I should know how to read it. Ashita wa doko no doko. Um, ash, ashita wa do, doko ni ikitai. Doko demo iyo. Omae wa hontou ni nan demo taberu ne. 
You really eat. You really do eat anything. Okay. Itsudamo demoashitene. Please call me anytime. Yeah. There is a, de a debate amongst Japanese native speakers about whether demo should be considered its own word or if it's actually just a combination of the particles de and mo. As de and mo together could be translated as even with, it would also be correct to consider it this way. That's interesting. Spoon demo kanzume, kanzume ga aku. It's like even with something, even if it's something, got it. Yeah, I really like this. Like, this is something I assumed I knew, but like, there's so much more to it. And I, I got the, the full explanation basically by just reading through this. And again, we have examples on how to say it right here. So it can like help if you just try your best to repeat exactly how they say it. いつでも電話に出るから。いつでも電話に出るから。いつでも電話に出るから。出る。出るから。Not okay. Yeah, super cool program. Okay, let's uh go ahead and just review some kanji since that's what we wrote for what to do today. So this is one chat GPT is actually used. I want to review the kanji from, I want to review every kanji we've learned together so far. Can you test me on them? Perhaps first we can, you can give me the words in just hiragana and I'll write the kanji for it. I'll provide you with the words in hiragana and you can try writing the corresponding kanji. The issue is, these are not the ones I learned. Can you choose kanji from this chat? So those aren't the kanji that I learned recently. Can you choose kanji from this chat from the past week? Okay, nice. It has, it's actually doing it from the chat now, which is really, really good. Awesome. All right, so it's telling me to write Kyoto. So let's try it. Kyoto, Kyoto, Kyoto. I feel like Kyoto is not one of the ones I practiced. For sure, I know how to read it, but writing it, I'm not sure. What goes after that? Something is here. Something like that, I'm not sure. But let's go through the ones that we actually practiced. Kayasu, Kayasu. To return something to someone. Okay, I believe there's a. The radical for move, movement. And then I think it was the radical for Han, which I believe had this in it. But there was something else. I, I'm missing something. Maybe like that. I'm not sure. I have to check my work after this. Meaning to laugh. Okay. I got this one. I can do this one. We got the bamboo radical. And then 10. Pretty sure that one's correct. And if we're to believe what we had before for Han Tai, it would be this plus one more thing which means the opposite of something. Ah, I don't have it. But what is ryo? Like both? Like ryoho? I'm gonna assume that's what it is. So it should be like that, right? All right, let's check our work. Show me the kanji, please. Okay, for Kyoto, we actually got it right. For Kaisu, I got it wrong, okay. So it was supposed to be like that instead. The cliff, okay. The cliff. Wadao, we got it right. And then Ryo, we got it right. Pretty much. Close. Close enough. And Hantai completely got it wrong. So, like, I just didn't know it. Didn't remember this part. Okay, I remember this is measurement. And then this is what? Boon. Let's just keep going. We'll review whatever we get wrong later. More tests. Tai as in body. To be honest, I can't remember this one very well. Tai as in body, which is karada. I seem to remember like book for some reason and maybe this so I'm gonna assume it's this so manzoku man is with that particle then this one then I believe like that was it with ryo? I think so right manzoku and then doga which is movement which starts with omoi and then chikara and then the thing inside like that something like that and then seisaku i'll just write it here 
I honestly forgot what Sei is, but I remember Saku was like that. No, too many. One too many lines. Sei, what is Sei? It's like production, right? Involves some sort of production. Oh man, I can't remember at this moment. Let's keep going. Ochi tsuita. Ochi tsuita. Ochi is to fall. Had some sort of like individual element to it. I believe it also contained these two particles. Something like that, I think. And then Tsuku was the same particle as Ki. <laughs> that looks wrong, but it's so something similar to that. All right. Dang, I'm kind of sad that I forgot Say, but let's check it out. Okay, we got body right at, at ver the very least. We also got Manzoku right at the very least. Doga Seisaku. All right, right here. Yeah, I had a feeling it was the, the mnemonic that we remembered very well. The cows with the towels and the knives. But I forgot the meaning of it, which doesn't help. Control, it means control. Okay, Seisaku together means production. All right, then we have this one. We got it right. We wrote it poorly. Ah, uh, no, we got it wrong. This goes over all of it. Interesting, interesting. And we have to write the chi as well. And this was like this instead, which is supposed to be sheep, all right? And this is me, or not me, but meh, yeah. All right, remembering kanji is very, very tough, or at least remembering how to write it is tough. Reading it, I, I feel like I could read it if... We can't do it in the same day though, because that would be cheating. So we have to do like a reading review in a different day where they just show us the kanji and we we write what the hiragana is. Um, but this is like a the harder test, obviously, to actually write it from memory. So let's just keep going. More tests, please. I think we're coming to a, like all of them or close to all of them. Yes, this is the one I wanted, boon because it's my favorite <laughs> kanji. So I better know how to write it. So we have katana. Bam! So easy. Why can't they all be like this? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is right. But this already is sword or to, I guess. And then together it's bun. I don't know what e means. Intention or mind? I don't recall learning that one. And then kaku as in each. And then kidu as to wear. Well, Kiru is the sheep with meh, literally right here. I guess we can just write it one more time. Okay, show answers. So intention of mind is right there. Oh yeah, there was a moment where I asked for, for this, the meaning of this kanji, but I never practiced it, so it's fine. And yes, we have it. I guess we should probably connect it like that, make it look a little bit better. Either way, it doesn't matter too much. Let's see, each. Uh, I see. It's a radical of something I learned. So that's what each means. Okay, let's do a bit more. Another test. All right, it's starting to repeat now. Yeah. I don't think I need this other than kaerimasu. Let's just do that one. I genuinely can't remember what goes after this. I think there was a yo and something like that. Let's just uh, answers. Yeah, this wasn't even kaerimasu. It was uh, something else. So let's just type in kaerimasu right here. Nope. We're close, but this thing has edges, I guess. All right, good enough for today. Let me ask one more time. How about kanji from earlier? Aha. Byoin is one that we did learn from a while ago. And thanks to yesterday's mistake, I think I remember how to do byo. Or I just remember the outside of it. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Well, seems that's all I could remember. We are at our limit here. So let's uh, just show the answers and write. It's the thing that looks like... If this were a real kanji test in language school, I would, I would have probably gotten a bad grade. I have gotten a bad grade before for one of those tests. But for most of them... We always like review the kanji right before the test. The, I guess the class is nice that way, or maybe too nice. So like you get to review it right before the test. So you basically commit it to memory. And then after that, you just write it again uh, on the test. So it's, it's kind of like cheating almost um, last minute studying basically. And we're not doing that right now. So I'm seeing the difference and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so different. 
I have to actually really commit these things to memory if I want to write them from memory. But it seems like for the most part, that was a lot of what we learned. And I think from here on, let's try to do more reading tests because that is the primary objective for me, not writing. Um, but it was good to just do one writing test to see, you know, how difficult it is. It's very difficult. So we'll do them once in a while. I think it's a good idea, but reading is more essential. So I'll try to implement that maybe two days from now, a few days from now, at least two days. Because if I did it tomorrow, that'd be kind of cheating. So not day 12, but maybe day 13 we'll do or day 14, maybe I'll write it somewhere else. Or maybe I'll just write it right now. So this one will be day 12, day 13. And for day 14, we'll do a reading test. Reading test. Specifically for kanji we've learned. All right, that's going to be it for this one. We'll catch you guys in the next one.